Chicago mayoral candidates is now even more packed. Alderperson Sophia King is running for the job. WGN's Andrea Medina is at City Hall live with the latest on this crowded race. Andrea. Hey there. Well, Alderwoman Sophia King is the third city council member to announce a mayoral run, but she is also the first woman to challenge Mayor Lori Lightfoot. A total of nine candidates are running to become the next mayor of Chicago, including Lori Lightfoot, who is seeking a second term. I don't see her winning this race outright, but it would be surprising if she doesn't make it into a runoff with one other candidate. That's why Alderwoman King is looking to be that second spot. Alderwoman Sophia King declared her candidacy for mayor on Wednesday morning by releasing a video vowing to make Chicago safer and stronger. We have to hold the people who commit violent crimes accountable. And we have to hold our leaders accountable too. King is a fourth ward alder person, which includes parts of downtown, South Loop, Hyde Park, Kenwood, and Brownsville, a position she's held since 2016 after being appointed by former mayor Rahm Emanuel. She's the first woman to challenge Lightfoot in the race for mayor. And sometimes the mayor will often say that she's often attacked or challenged because she is an African American female. That argument kind of goes out the window now when you have Sophia King in the race. According to WGN's political analyst Paul Lisnick, King's only well known in her ward and is not a household name, but he says her close ties with the Obamas and Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle could help her rise in the campaign. King is running on a platform of crime prevention. Crime is on everybody's mind. Uh, King has said she'd immediately fire David Brown, that she would work to make uh, police officers have more time off. These views are also echoed by 15th Ward Alderman Ray Lopez, former CPS CEO Paul Vallis, and 6th Ward Alderman Roderick Sawyer, the son of former Mayor Eugene Sawyer. Uh, I just want to help us get past the things that we're worried about uh, when we talk about violence, when we talk about education, economic development, and I think we have a path to get where we're going but it has to be together. Mayoral candidate and state representative Cam Buckner has also criticized how the mayor has handled crime, among other issues across the city of Chicago. What I'm hearing is people don't feel safe. Uh, they don't know what's happening with our education system. Uh, they want some understanding of what's going to happen with our business corridors. Other candidates like community activist Jamal Green is My promising is to clean up corruption in and City Hall and provide a targeted property tax freeze. Chicago police officer Frederick Collins also hopes to deliver on that tax freeze promise and crack down on the city's rampant crime sprees and carjackings. Millionaire businessman Willie Wilson also seeking to run for mayor again after placing fourth in the February 2019 election. With eight candidates now stepping up to challenge Mayor Lightfoot for her job, she says she's not concerned. People are going to jump in. This is silly season. It's going to happen. I remain focused on making sure that I deliver every single day for the residents of the city. Um, and if I continue to do that, I feel very optimistic about re-election. Our WGN political analyst is confident more candidates will jump in the race and announce plans in the coming months. Now, the race to become the next mayor of Chicago will be decided in February, which is about six months away. But if there's a runoff, Chicagoans will have to vote again in April. We're live in the loop. Andrea Medina, WGN News.